everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to share with you how we pack for a week-long trip in Minnesota. So as you can see, I'm in the middle of packing. Um, I'm in Bella's room and we're just packing all the kids each and one of these um, large utility totes from 31. Since we're going for a full week, we need the extra space because we're going to have all their clothes, shoes, all of that good stuff. Um, but first I wanted to just share kind of how I make my list and plan everything out. So I use a bullet journal and then I have a sheet or sorry, a page that just has like the basics. So we are going with a large group and we have three different cabins. This is who's staying in each cabin. And then I make a list of <laughs> all the lists. Yes, I know excessive, but that's how I stay a little bit organized. Um, so then my first list is like for the car ride. So anything that we would want to take as far as snacks and things to keep the kids busy, movies, all that kind of stuff, and then kind of like what I want to take. So Jason usually drives the entire way because we pull the boat and everything, and I've never driven the boat before. <laughs> so um, I usually take like my planner, my tablet, and all that kind of stuff to keep me occupied. All right, and then the next list I have is things for the cabin. So the cabin is fully furnished and everything. But we do have to take like bathroom stuff and then kitchen stuff. And so we have to take all our bath towels and like Kleenex and hand soap, all that kind of stuff. So I just make a list there. And then for the kitchen, the kitchen is fully stocked, but we do like to bring a few extra things. Um, so like paper plates, paper or plastic silverware, all our water bottles, the, you know, roasting marshmallow sticks, all that fun stuff. So... I just kind of list it out here and I like to keep it separate because when I pack it up, I pack it in bins and then when we get there, they're labeled and I know exactly where they're going to go. Um, and then this could be just one list, honestly, for like outdoor, like boat and beach or water type list. Um, but I just, for some reason, split it out. <laughs> um, but so you got your bug spray, your sunscreen, life jackets, obviously, um, and then I like to pack a bag that's specific for the boat. Um, so just when we're there and everything and someone says, hey, we're going to go for a boat ride, I can just grab my bag and we're going and it's good to go. Um, and then for the beach, so I take like my waterproof phone case. Um, I'll probably take my Bluetooth speaker, um, the kids' water shoes, water toys, sand toys, all that fun stuff. Um, and then each person gets their own list. So I make my list, Jason's list. And this includes everything, so not just clothes, but like any additional things like chargers, your phone stuff, sunglasses, and then this is just more of like toiletry type stuff, so like your shampoo, conditioner, all that. And I have basically the same thing for Jason. And then the girls, their list is, I think, identical, um, but I make them each a list so that when I'm packing each kid, I can cross them off. But it has, like, all their clothes and then, again, all their toiletry stuff and then miscellaneous things. Like, they want to take their dolls, some books, their headphones. They want to take their leapfrog. Most of that stuff's for the car ride because we'll be pretty busy when we're at the lake. And then Barrett has his own little list. Um, I haven't put in his things yet as far as his leapfrog and some cars and trucks and things like that. Um, so I'll have to add that in. Um, and then I have a random other <laughs> list. Um, so like scissors, lighters, our outdoor candles, like the citronella candles, because we're going to Minnesota and the mosquito is the state bird. So <laughs> we're going to bring lots of bug spray and stuff like that. Um, and then like glow sticks, bubbles, craft stuff if we have a rainy day, things like that. And then I made a separate list for food and drink, but for our dinners, so each family is in charge of two dinners while we're there, and then breakfast and lunch we do on our own. Um, so that kind of makes it a little easier. You don't have to plan six dinners because we're there for six nights, that kind of thing. So what we do every year is our dinner is the fish fry. Um, so all the guys and all the basically all the adults go fishing. The kids go too, but the adults catch the most fish. And then we have a fish fry, and so we bring everything to do that. Jason has a big fryer for that. Um, and then any sides that we want to do with the dinner. Um, and then this is kind of meal planning for the week. Obviously not all filled in, but that's okay. 
Um, I didn't put my Walmart list in here because I wanted to be able to take it to the store easily. So let me show you that. It's already crossed off because I already went. My mom and I went this morning. Um, so I split it again into like the different sections that are actually in Walmart. So I have like the grooming and other miscellaneous random stuff like paper products. And then I split our food into dry food and cold food and everything like that. So that is how I make my lists for planning a week long trip to Minnesota. Um, and then later I will show you how I actually pack it all because we do use totes like the plastic totes with the lids and everything um, because we pack it in the back of the truck and we also pack the boat. Um, and then we also usually take one or two coolers because we have to take all of our food for the whole week. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so this is how we pack the food and kitchen items. The bottom layers I will pack as the actual food items and they're usually the more heavier food items. And then again, they're just in these plastic storage totes. And then I will add a top layer to them with the more lightweight kitchen items. That way things don't get smashed or anything in the way to the lake and all that stuff. And this is the bag that I take in the car with us. So it has individualized bags for the kids for little snacks. And then we also take chicken and biscuit with the spray cheese. That's my husband's favorite. Um, and then this is the tote that we take with more bathroom items, so like our shampoo, conditioner, Kleenexes, bath towels, sunscreen. Um, I also have like toothpaste in there, some extra trash bags for the cabin, um, and then some face wipes, and then a bag full of like hair stuff, so it's the brush, the spray, all hair ties and things like that for the girls. Then a bag of medicine for the kids. My kids are known to spike fevers, things like that. Always want to have that on hand. Um, and then also some like band-aids and bug itch cream. That always comes in handy. And then like I said earlier, each kid gets their own individual bag. And these are the large utility totes from 31. And so each bag has every kid's shoes, swimsuits, pajamas, shirts, shorts, tank tops, literally everything that they will need as far as clothes and apparel goes. Um, it also has like their sweatshirts and stuff um, and their water shoes are in those uh, grocery sacks. Um, obviously socks and underwear, so anything they would need. This is what Brooklyn's bag looks like with the lid on. Um, again, it's just a clear top lid and that just keep, helps keep things clean and dry. And then this is Barrett's bag. And again, he has all of his clothes that he will need, pajamas, shirts, pants, everything, shoes, um, some packages of wipes since he is still in diapers. And then those are the nighttime diapers that he wears. Um, they're just better for the nighttime because they absorb more throughout the night. Um, so yeah, that has all of his stuff, and then I did put a whole pack of diapers in there. Um, I'd much rather overpack on diapers. Um, I'd hate to run out when we're in the middle of nowhere <laughs> in Minnesota. Um, and then this is what his looks like with the lid on it. So then we also packed bags for the kids for the car ride. So they, the girls brought their dolls and some of the accessories for their dolls in these little mini backpacks. And that's Bella's doll. And then this is Bella's backpack with her leapfrog and her kid phone, chargers, earbuds, and then some like LOL dolls or Hatchimals, just some toys and stuff to keep them entertained in the car ride. It was about a 10 hour car ride with all our stops and everything. So it's quite a while for little kids to stay entertained, but then threw some coloring books in there and a little dry erase board. And then Brooklyn's backpack and her doll and everything. Kind of the same stuff that Bella had, just a little bit different. Um, 
she got some Hatchimals and LOL dolls in there as well. And these little backpacks are really nice. Um, we got them for the girls for their birthdays um, just at Walmart. Um, and then Brooklyn Leapfrog, her little camera. And then she also has some doll accessories and everything in there. And then she also has her notebook, coloring book, her little dry erase board. Um, those dry erase boards are pretty awesome in the car. Um, just They really do a good job of keeping them entertained. I'm pretty sure you can get them at the Dollar Tree. We got ours at Walmart. And then this is Barrett's backpack. He doesn't have a doll <laughs> or anything, so he has less stuff than what the girls had, but he's got his leapfrog and some headphones. He's got his Thor and Hulk. He's also got a bag of trucks and everything, which he ended up using quite a bit in the sand at the lake. And then he's got a coloring book and his little dry erase board and his notebook as well. And that was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing before you go. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.